guys, welcome back to the Pride of Villa. So today I thought I'd just do a video uh, recapping the Bournemouth game because uh, you know it's been a few days, so I can sort of gather my thoughts properly instead of the last video. Obviously, me and Ben basically just blew up on camera because it, we just filmed it straight after the game, and you know I think we just spoke for the majority of the Villa fans. Uh, and then I'll be talking quite a bit on the Everton game because I, I do feel like there needs to be a few tweaks going to that game. Uh, certain players probably should be dropped going to that one. So yeah, if you're going to stick around, please subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, get us to 700 subscribers because we seem to be on the way already. And uh, yeah, let's just get straight into the deal. So as I said in the last video, it was actually my birthday. Um, and obviously, after the game, me and Ben thought, oh, let's just go out. Here's a few videos. Uh, you know, we just didn't let it ruin our day, I guess you say. Um, but it, it turned out to be a really good night and we actually met a fan, so yeah, big up Steve, I met him in the Weatherspoons near, um, big fan of the channel, so yeah, here's a shout out to you mate. But um, yeah, we're going to just talk about the Bournemouth game, what happened, that's all I can say, what happened, I mean, I touched up on it uh, in the last video, I thought the team selection wasn't right, um, and I'm going to go back to the, the defence. I, I'll say this now, I don't think Carlos should be dropped. I don't think he did anything wrong as well. It's just, it's who do you partner with him? And the, the Conza, we saw one game before this one, thought they looked okay together. But personally, I would have gone Chambers. But now I'm thinking, why not Mings? He's got something to prove now, he ain't a captain. He's got, he hasn't got that, the captain seed to line on his shoulders, you know what I'm saying? Um... So yeah, just give him a run, but it looks like him and Gerald sort of falling out a bit or something. Don't really know what's going on, but it, it doesn't look good. But in my opinion, he should have been Chambers starting because he he's never put a foot wrong. You know, he's, he's scored a couple goals now. Just does everything you want. And he's, I'll, I'll say again, he's one of my favourite players in his squad because he just does everything just nice. But um, yeah, I think that needs to be addressed first because it just didn't look like there was much partnership going on if you know what I'm saying with them two um, and maybe we're losing that sort of that big that voice obviously from Mings at the back you know obviously Mings tall guy loud voice I guess you say you know he's definitely a captain in, in my eyes anyway so I think we we're probably missing that as well um, yeah the start of the video I did say players should be dropped and I've got to say I think Coutinho definitely needs dropping it's just you know, when he, when we brought him in, the first two games, Everton and Man U, he was he was sensational. Even the Southampton game, uh, the Leeds game, the Brighton game, really good player. But coming to the end of the season, being a bit quiet, not bad, just a little bit quiet. Uh, Pre-season, being quiet as well. Um, and I don't really know what's happening. I mean, going in, and in this game, he's just non-existent. And it's just it's, it's a bit of a worry to be fair because he's obviously someone we know is going to be on that team sheet every game. Um, I think it is fair to say he should be on the bench from his recent performances. And Buendia needs a good run because Buendia he brings something. You know he's fit, he's younger, hungrier for the ball. You know he wants the goals, he wants the assists. And there's a reason we paid around 35 mil for him because he is an absolute sensation of a player. And you know, if he's going to have this whereabout where he knows he's going to be benched mostly for all the season, he's probably not going to want to stay with us. So we need to try and get a team where Buendia starts because it, it, it annoys me that he's, he's, not, he's always on the bench because we know what a, a talent he is. And I don't want to be one of these people saying, oh, he's an impact sub because he's more than that. Like, who else could say? Archer's an impact sub. Um... You know, obviously last game, you, you have the likes of Watkins as an impact sub. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's just it's just a bit annoying with Wendy because we all know he should be starting. Um, and in my opinion, anyway, I do believe Coutinho needs to be dropped just for the game uh, against Everton and see how Wendy is when he starts because we know what Wendy can bring to this team. Sorry, my voice is going a bit. But you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and then obviously front three, Bailey. Thought he was okay. Um, I can't lie, he didn't bring too much, but I thought he was okay. Uh, giving obviously the defenders a, a good running at. Um, Danny Ings, I thought, you know, he had a few good touches, but he just wasn't really, really winning the ball that much. Um, 
and then obviously Watkins comes on and I don't think Watkins really impacts the game in my opinion um, and that's a worry as well because obviously you know the transfer window is going to be ending the 1st of September and I don't think we are looking at another striker it wouldn't feel right to look at another striker when you've got the likes of Archer, Danny Ings and Watkins because uh, we know what all three of them can bring to the team um, but yeah it's just I just don't know, I, just, I honestly just don't know what it is. We, we just need to find a good balance in this team. Personally, for Everton, I would go uh, Martinez, uh, Luca Dine, Cash, uh, Mings and Carlos. And then midfield, I'd go Louise, Kamara and McGinn, obviously as captain. Front three, I'd go Buendia, Bailey and... Yeah, I'll probably stay with Danny Ings just to sit, just you know give him a bit more time because you know we are, everyone knows on the channel I'm a big fan of Watkins but I know my, myself he hasn't been improving uh, he hasn't been really improved lately um, he hasn't really been scoring he hasn't really been you know as hungry as a player I guess you could say uh, as we have seen him um, but obviously there's no doubt in my mind he's going to come off the bench but that's that's the team I put against Everton hope you like the video guys. Uh, if you have any your own opinions or if you want to talk to me, obviously leave a comment below. Uh, as I said again, please subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Up the Villa with the Pride Villa. We'll see you in the next video against Everton.